to be back to the old. Right, right. <laughs> Ain't desk yet. <laughs> Mr. President. No peace out of my heart. Uh, you're not the only one. No, but I am the only one brave enough to admit it. Talos was weak. We wandered in the shadows for 30 years because he was weak. He turned the war people into a band of beggars and what I'm supposed to emulate that? I'm supposed to be like Talos and put my trust in you. You pimped us, Fury. You put us out to work for you and when you were done with us, you threw us away. So, first, I'm gonna kill you. And then, I'm gonna take a flamethrower to humanity. <coughs> Just so I am absolutely clear about this, Fury. You look at me. Look at me. You did this. All the bombs and the blackouts and the massacres and the wildfires and the imminent removal of humans from their habitat. That is all you. The species you spent your entire adult life defending. They were condemned to die the day I realized you weren't a man of your word. Now, Fury. You really should have kept your promise. You're, you're, you're right. You, you, you're right. I, I failed you. I failed you. Failed everyone. I knew within a few years of searching that there was no other planet out there for you. I knew the only way for me to keep my end of the bargain was to build your home here. Why didn't you do it? Because it's easier to save the lives of eight billion people. I think the radiation's eating your brains, mate. It's chill. You really want to die. Okay, you can go in here. No checking behind the doors. You really are a scrub. Sonia, yeah, I don't know what you think you're doing, but. No rats. Just yours back into the hallway. Go on. You really are a scrub, Lesh. You don't look by the doors. <laughs>
First of all, they both gonna have to die. Yeah. Oh. Uh, man, man, man. Mm -hmm. What have you got to lose? She's right. Just delay the strike. If I'm wrong, you can send me to prison and flatten Russia. shape-shifting, alien-born species known as Skrulls. That is why tonight I'm presenting to Congress for immediate emergency authorization a bill that designates all off-world-born species enemy combatants. Mm -hmm. We know who you are. We know how to find you. And we will kill every last one of you. Mm -hmm. But enemy combatants, not all Skrulls. Okay, just the evil ones. He just said... All off-world. So that's enemy all combatants. That. Yeah, no. classifying everybody that's off-world as... Oh. Well, what you've done with the place. I'm sorry. The what? Not being here. I could take care of myself. I know that. But you shouldn't have to. I know who I am when you're not here. It's when you come back. But I start to wonder, did you fall in love with me or the face that puts you at ease? I love you, Priscilla. I'm here to ask you for one last chance. I'm leaving tonight. Then I guess this is goodbye. You can find a way to forgive me. You know where to find me. I'll be in space. Uh, ain't you about to be an enemy commander? So you might want to go with Fury. I'm leaving tonight. I mean, she's way OP. Like. But she cannot, like, stay around. We meet at last. Unless you have an army crammed in the back of that car, I advise you to go back the way you came. Oh, I haven't come for a fight, Gaia. With your special abilities, it would be a lopsided affair. <laughs> Who are you? A friend of a friend. Your people need a leader. You will need resources to fight this war that Ritson has launched on your people, and I can give them to you. And let me guess, you're doing this out of the kindness of your heart? <laughs> God, no, don't silly. My father entered into a deal like that. It didn't end so well. Yes, well, let's be sure not to repeat the mistakes of Talos and Fury and leave love and friendship out of this. I will use you, and you will use me, and together we'll make this planet safe for both our people. What does that mean? Let me tell you, look, I'm going to be uh, honest with you. I'm going to use you, you're going to use me, and let's just keep friendship out of it.
person to read, and we read it out of line. That was a lame too. Until I watched that hateful ass speech you made. That hateful ass. Putting things back together was never gonna be easy. What the hell is all this? This is how the enemy got so good. You took a bad situation and made it worse. That's real one term precedent stuff. But we have to act now. Damn! Damn. With the hit squad you inspired, kill off the squirrels who still want to help us. <gasps> now you got dumbass people at it killing innocent humans too. Oh, shit. When they're not getting killed themselves. <laughs> Call off your war. Give me a break. There's only one way this ends. The old Nick Fury would have known that. If you truly care about the scrolls, get on my planet. Hold a minute. So I guess he still keep his power. Running the space force up there. Sounds like peace, doesn't it? Yeah, that's all I want. Priscilla. Bara. Now that humans know we're among them, I'd like to lose my birthday. Well, Bara. Good news. I'm saving. Um, I I didn't I didn't leave loving it. I didn't leave. With just a little bit more information that I would have wanted to get. Now, I'm just going to use my own brain and say, okay, the question was asked. At least it was. Um, Rody, how long you been in here? Been a long time. And then I can assume, since everybody else walked out like they just went to sleep yesterday, fine. Rody had to be helped out, which will tell me that his legs are not really up to par from him falling out the damn sky. So, okay, at least that far back, he no, has been a scroll. I mean, that that's not why his legs aren't working. His legs are not working because he's been in this position for a long time. Just like if you were in the hospital and you were in a coma. I get like, it. Yeah. It's that's not, what I'm it's saying. Not. But that's, there had to be other people in there that's been in that position about as long as him. And they all walked out perfectly fine. Like, they just went to I sleep I mean, you didn't yesterday. see every single person walk out, though. Like, well, just, well I, mean, I think they're just and exaggerating. All and all I'm saying is, from my point of view of seeing yeah. it, that's what they're probably trying to tell me. Since they didn't give me the definite answer of how long he was in there mm -hmm. um so okay let's just go with that and if that's the case that i'm mad about that because like hey, where else i'm gonna get this information from right so maybe i'll have to find that out in uh um um armor wars because that's the show he's supposed to be in maybe that we'll figure that out at that point um the fight scene i thought it was good but it was definitely dreamt up i don't know if that actually happened in like the the comic books or whatnot but like that is insane to give two people all of the damn powers of everybody we've seen in the mcu to just duke it out one of them is dead the other one is still walking around op level um power set and i don't know how i feel about that right like I, okay hopefully good thing she's a good guy but it could have went the other way, right? So, and then the Nick Fury thing ended at the end with, with, with his boot cakes and going back up there. I guess he still got a job because the president said thank you. But, like, we talking about the summit, the peace summit with uh, the scrolls and, and, and the Kree. Look what's going on on Earth now that you just going back up to space and just, like, letting the president deal with that shit. The, just rampant craziness that's happening right now. So, it's a little, little confusion. I'm like, we left this thing wide open to be some things what... Well, 
And I guess, obviously, we got more stories to go on with, with Marvel, but this was just like, I don't understand why we did this last episode like this, but it is what it is. I thought this season was fine. Okay? And I enjoyed most of it. Didn't love it all, but that that's just my two cents with it. I'm done. Um, I couldn't wait for this episode to end. I felt like this episode dragged on, um, especially with the last part. And I totally agree that I feel like it's such an inconsistent way to end a season. Like, the fact that, like, Fury's just like, fine, let's go in the spaceship and create peace between the Kree and the uh, scrolls while people are wiling out on Earth. Yeah. Like, and this is a mess he clearly made. He just like, made this. Is, this. You did this. You literally did this. This is, like, so all you. <laughs> like, are we not going to talk about it? Um, and I thought the standoff between... Um, Rhodey Scroll and Olivia Coleman and Fury was super no weak sense. sauce. Like, as gangster, she's been the entire season. Why didn't she just shoot him in the hand or she something? She did the same thing she just did to the other guy. Like, she was, it was just like. Why even wait? wait? It, didn't, wait? it didn't align with her character at all. No. Um, and I personally didn't like, and I'm sure this is a part of the comics, so that's why they include it, but I didn't like the mesh up of all the powers. I felt like it basically watered down how incredible the Avengers are. You can do are, anything. That, you like, can do anything. That they can, and the, I hated the way it looked visually, too. I thought it looked corny as hell. Like, why are you half and half? Oh, I don't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. Um, and I think there's no, re there's no way why they should have survived it. Like, I wish it was, like, too much power yeah. and, like, you had to, like, take the power away from them because she's... Alive now, like she's way too OP. Like this is ridiculous. Like I, can't, I don't like it. <laughs> don't she know. exists now. Yeah, like what is that? So I didn't, I didn't personally enjoy that, um, and I just felt it wasn't a very satisfying conclusion, um, and I, I don't think that it added anything uh, to the overall like plot device, I guess, as far as where we're going. But I know Marvel's struggling to figure out exactly the direction we're going in next, anyway. Um, but it was okay. This, the series as a whole was okay. It was interesting to see, you know, Fury pull back some layers on his personal life, which is the aspects I appreciated about all these miniseries, is getting to see more of the characters, um, uh, in a more, like, uh, uh, personal way, I guess. Um, but yeah, it, it, it drug for me at the end there. Um, and I don't think that everything made sense. I feel like they were just like, fuck it, let's just wrap up the season yeah. is kind of what yeah, it felt like. Um, but all in all, it was okay. Um, there was, there was things I definitely liked about the season. I think the first half of the season was much stronger than the second half. Um, now that we kind of binged the last three episodes here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, okay season. Um, but not to the level. Definitely, well. definitely excited to uh, see Loki next. Yep. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Secret Invasion. Ep season one, episode number six, season finale. And until next time, 